Yo, what is going on guys? It's Hayful here, and this video marks the first episode of my How I Play HF series on Viper. This is a four episode long series, which I'll be commentating over to explain and show you guys tips ranging from small strategies to help me be more efficient to my entire thought process while being trapped. I would really appreciate if you could show some support on this video by either watching all the way through or engaging on it by leaving a like and a comment because this took a while to record and edit. Also, you clicked on this video for a reason, so if you wanna see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. But that's all I got for the intro. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and let's get into it. My SLTW went by pretty quick. I did what everybody else had to do. I got a claim and ended up being a 41 by 41. Afterwards, I went to get wood and I usually like getting about an inventory full because that supplies me for the rest of the map. While thinking of how I should make my base, I used the slash block shop command that lets you buy decorative blocks to buy blue stained glass and red stained clay, my favorite colors. I went with a basic design because my purpose was to get set up as fast as possible. After finishing the outside structure, I started on the drop down and eventually dug out almost my entire claim. I wanted to first start on my otter brewer because I knew that by making everything else it would take too much time and I might as well start using that time to brew potions. I chose to brew invis and health potions because those are the most vital to me. By the time the pots had finished brewing I was done with my base and yes I used the exact same chest layout every time I build a base because I find it a lot easier to memorize where things are if it's the same way every map. I went to spawn so I could use the partner keys from my reclaim and I looked in them to see what I needed the most. I went with the Bambi crate in hopes to get combo abilities, the Patrox crate to get focus modes, and the Mizuid crate to get teleport bows. And with little to no luck, I only got 8 combo abilities and a couple fire aspect swords, but it's okay because I still had my partner packages to open. And by the way, make sure to use code HATEFU if you want to buy some partner packages for yourself. I'm sorry, those are pretty loud, but overall, I got a good variety of items and I was satisfied. I also got a spring key, which I had to go back to spawn to open. With it, I got 10 exotic bones, which are very, very essential, and I was happy. Now, with everything at my base done, I used my kit master, applied the invis custom enchant from my kit books, and all I had to do was grab a loadout of partner items and get ready for PvP. All of a sudden, someone showed up in my dropdown asking to 1v1. I rarely let people in my base, so that was weird, but then I noticed I left defense gate open. I went down my dropdown and let him into my base to fight. SLTW PvP is very laggy, so I was quite literally three blocks in the air at one point, then decided it'd be best for me to get safe. He tried using my elevator and going back down on me, but I was too smart for that. Apparently, he had no pot, so I went in for a couple hits and... Killed him. He had a couple partner items that were going to be useful to me for base raiding. The first faction I went to was called Cuttlefish. There was two members online with 2DTR, but since it was SLTW and there were key alls and stuff like that, anyone could be rich. So I decided to try to find a hole in their base. I was getting pretty close to their name tags and noticed it was only a one block wall layer. I quickly mined the claimed blocks in front of me and ran into them to create invis blocks. Invis blocks are blocks that appear to be destroyed only to the player who makes them. For example, these four blocks that I mined were only broken on my screen and I couldn't walk through them because technically they're still there. You can make the blocks reappear by just right clicking the spot they're supposed to be at. I used invis blocks here to get an angle of all their walls and sadly I couldn't find a hole so I decided it was best if I left. I saw an archer out in the open and thought I could profit off of this free kill. He didn't have much though but a kill is a kill. Moving on, I went to this guy's base who I saw advertising in chat that he was letting in. Since I was at his base before, I knew there was a hole in his drop down through these cobble walls but it appeared that he had closed the drop down so instead I ran in. If you didn't notice, I threw a pearl in that corner to make him think that I was trying to outplay him and time warp in there, but in reality, I did it, assuming he was smart, to bait him to bait me by going in there, then mining out, and it worked. Moving items into my hotbar in the heat of the moment messes me up as you saw, but luckily he had one more hit till he was boned. I tried placing the portable Bambi outside the tunnel we were in, but I wasn't aware that it spawns right where you clicked it, so it became useless. Here, I already knew I was dead. The guy's a good trapper, and he's gonna make sure he's 100% safe before slapping me. The only thing that I could do was cross brawl into a block in hopes of him mining me out, and I get another chance. And he did mine me out, so I did it again. I even did a kit to try to survive. This time, he was creating me out, so I had to walk out of the block and give up. 
I finally gave up and asked to drop set, but I was convinced he was going to scum me after I probed into the blocks. Luckily, he didn't, but then this happened. At first, I thought he actually scummed me, but then I've come to find out I died to a completely other person. There was no way for that person to be able to hit me, so I got revived, and he got banned for block glitching. Come to find out later on that he's actually using hacks instead of block glitching, but that's another story. This faction on 1DTR with three members had their FM in the sky. I thought it was weird, but then I realized what this sky bridge led to. By the way, these aren't actual snow blocks, they're quart blocks. It's just what the pack looks like. I don't know, it's it's weird. I went on F5 and I was able to see his members slightly and noticed he had a bard. I also took into account that there was a region one and res one beacon, but I didn't care. I still wanted to run in. I used the combo ability right away because I knew this guy was not gonna be up for a fight even though he had all the advantages in the world. And after 10 seconds, I got my strength two and went crazy. I don't even know how to explain that. That's probably the most dumb thing the bar could have done in this situation, but I went out to try to kill this guy and... He lived. So I went back in the base to kill the member with no armor because a partner package all just happened, which meant I could get his. I didn't get a chance to check all of the loot when the diamond showed up again. This time, he was not getting away from me. I tried spleefing him and he fell, but I missed my shift key and came down with him. But luckily I lived, then I checked his loot and it was P1. I felt bad. I pulled up to this solo's base who was 1DTR and I did the universal signal in HF for let me in. And he understood. That was a clever trap. Luckily, I killed him right on time. On the way to my newly earned loot, I heard blocks being mined and I thought whoever it might be had already taken some loot, so I followed the noises and I found him. Mid fight, I heard a second person, so all I wanted to do was grab loot and get out of there as soon as possible. Even if I was still getting hit, I wanted my loot. It got to a point where I was still trying to get the loot, so I got very low and I was forced to get out. If not, I was going to die. I checked the set of the guy that I killed and more P1. At least I got partner items from the raid. The duo that stole my raid followed me up, and I think they allied on me, but I don't really care, so I left. I was on my way to this base when these two pigeons started fighting me for no reason. By the way, I'll explain that term in tomorrow's video. Anyways, I got to this guy's fence gates, and I ran in. I used this partner item that gives you strength and speed depending on the height of the base, and it was too high, so it proved itself useful. I thought this loot was pretty trash for somebody who built their base out of ore blocks, so I looked around for secret chests to find something, and all I found was a cave. I made my way back up, accepting this loot, and decided this is where I'd end the video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. It only takes you one second and it helps my channel grow. Also, comment some feedback down below on how you liked or disliked this video because I'm always looking to improve for future videos. I apologize if this video was somewhat short, but rest assured that the other videos in this series are lengthy and action-packed. 
I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with episode two. Peace out.